Hello, Pestilence here. And because I've been off for so long, I decided to uh, show you some special locks that I've had around for quite a while. We'll start with these small ones here. <clears throat> and this was listed as a Roman bronze padlock. And the date was 300 to 400 AD. Show the other side. And this is a key that they included with it, although I doubt that this goes together. I don't think they do. They just give me a key. Now, um, a lot of the locks of this period have this kind of shape. Some of them have designs etched into it. They have on this side a cover here, although this one is, um, you know, welded in place from uh, being under the ground for quite a while. Uh, however, I do have another padlock that looks a lot like this. And here it is. Now this one was listed as being from the 19th century. Uh, this one I bought from someone in Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, this one from Sofia, Bulgaria. Now, as you can see, it has that type of um, feature on it. And it also has this part down here, although I think, think that this might have been broken off or worn down. And as you can see on this side, the cover is gone, and you can see inside where the keyhole is. So I'm not sure how long they manufactured this design. Um, so this very well could be from the 1800s. I really do not know. Um, I do think that this would be an extraordinary shape, so I don't think it it could be um, from the Roman period of time. So, but here is the other one, and as you can see, droop. okay, now. Now the next one is definitely a Roman padlock. And let me get to my other notes here. This Roman padlock is listed as being um, from the first BC to the second AD. Uh, it's a Face, figure padlock, figure face padlock, whatever they want to call them. Um, they were also known as puzzle padlocks. They had different types of shackles. Okay, this one has chain, which you can see is still attached. Uh, this looks like it has a... Well, let's see if I can show it to you. Uh, this one looks like it could very well attach to there. Yeah, if it'll stay in, I don't think it'll stay in place. Anyway, um, in which case, this would have to slide out uh, all the way so that this could uh, fit into another part of the shackle. So I'm not, not sure how that would work. Uh, however, <clears throat> these were puzzle padlocks because the face plate would lock into place. If you see this right here, if that was up, it would lock this face plate um, well, in place. It would keep it from opening up. 
and see it would go up like that. In which case you have to use, um, there's a special way of getting it to uh, release the faceplate. And you don't see inside um, the mechanism for the lock. However, here is the plate that fit over it showing you where the key went in. Okay, these were used more like a tamper-proof seal so that once uh, you sent the leather pouch with whatever goods you were sending, money, um, possessions, whatever, uh, this would keep the bag sa uh, secure from being tampered with. So if, so if you saw that somebody had been fooling around with the lock, then you knew that uh, somebody was trying to steal it. Now, they also had um, a shackle that might have been square or a round shackle. And sometimes these were worn as like a ring. Um, and the keys, too. Sometimes the keys were uh, formed to a ring so that you could wear the key. So... With the one, um, I've read that they had more than one switch, and here's one switch here. Um, they could have two switches. However, uh, I've only seen the one on this one. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that, and hopefully I will uh, get more videos made um, a lot sooner. So... Thank you for watching, take care, stay safe, be well, and stay legal. Bye.